The concept of Tikkun Olam, or healing the world, is of huge significance in the Jewish community. So much so that JDC Entwine has launched a social initiative for young people in the UK. At present, there are eight JDC Entwine networks in North America. JN1 was invited to attend the London launch. Uh, JDC Entwine is a one-of-a-kind movement. It's part of the Jewish Joint Distribution Committee. It's the largest Jewish humanitarian charity in the world. And Entwine is the young professional arm of um, the JDC. Alumni members also attended the launch to share their experiences. Sean Goldstone worked with Dr. Rick Hodes, JDC's medical director in Ethiopia. It was the most incredible life-transforming experience. And when I arrived, I realized that Dr. Rick Hodes is really a one-man show, juggling a million and one balls at once. And so what I tried to do was to take away as many things off of his plate in order for him to focus on the medicine. So for example, I took charge of the chemotherapy drugs. And I, was, I had to make sure that every single day we had the correct amount of drugs, the correct doses, and made sure our inventory was up to, up to date. Additionally, I would create the brochures and interview the patients in order to create the brochures so we could market each patient because at the end of the day we have to fundraise and tell the story and each patient has his own story. Hannah Gaventa also went to Ethiopia and got a glimpse of the female educational programs the JDC fund, whilst Talia Blank travelled to Turkey where the JDC support Jewish care groups. We visited lots of different projects that they fund out there. So we were visiting microcredits, training schemes for women, and um, to see um, some of the projects that help women usually um, create their own businesses so that they can um, get back out of the extreme poverty that they're living in. We visited a lot of Jewish all day homes and we um, sat and spoke to the residents and sung with them and spent some time with them. Um, we integrated a lot with the um, young professionals. Um, some of the issues facing Ethiopians are so real and such different stark contrast to the issues we face here in the UK. Um, things like female genital mutilation and child marriage where young girls are getting married at under 15 and that's something that we find really hard to comprehend. As Jews, we're supposed to be a light unto the nations and in the Talmud it says that if you've saved a soul, you've saved an entire world. Um, trying to treat people with other Jewish values like Salem Elohim in the image of God, that everyone is created in the image of God and everyone is equal and everyone should be respected in that way. Tonight's informative question and answer session has certainly inspired attendees to help communities abroad. It was just really interesting to hear a lot more about the JDC and the work they do. I already knew some of the details, but it's nice to hear first-hand accounts and hear some, see the pictures and really hear what it's like to get involved. Yes, I've applied for the Argentina trip. Um, I love to meet Jewish communities around the world. Um, I've visited one of the different areas of the world already. Uganda was the most interesting one I've been to, but. It would be lovely to meet South American community, so I'm really hoping to go on that trip. Oh, I mean, it's fascinating. I mean, I, I, I hadn't heard about them before, um, and to come here and to hear about all the good work they're doing around the world, and also engaging Jewish youth with Jewish diaspora issues is fascinating. Seven to ten day outreach programs in Cuba and Argentina will be available to UK recruits later on in the year. For more information, go to jdcentwine.org. As you can see behind me, tonight's event was well attended and what's promising is that many of the attendees will lend their support to future outreach programmes. This is Celestina Ololode for JN1 in London.